Hey everyone, I am so glad you can join me for another weekly update at ADE, the place to be. And it is Freaky Friday. The day has arrived. We've been prepping all week with our Red Ribbon Week, had some awesome things I saw. Uh, we are definitely celebrating and ready to live life drug free. But tonight is the big night. Fall Festival, Freaky Friday at 5.30 till 7.30 tonight. Remember, it is cash only, parents. So $5 per child to get in, but maximum of $15 total. So if you have multiple kids, most we're gonna charge you is 15 to get in. And then you wanna bring other cash for other things. If you wanna buy food while you're here, or if you wanna throw balls at uh, the dunking booth, which check it out, this dunking booth has arrived. I'll be in it after Miss Bradford and I believe Mr. Banks Wise from Westminster Presbyterian. They're gonna get in the, it first and then I'll be in it. Kids, I've challenged you all day. Let's see if you could throw a ball as well as you say you can. I, I don't know. I think I'll probably stay dry. I guess we'll find out. So excited for all that. Come on out from 5.30 till 7.30 this evening. And kids, if you've got a costume that you really want your friends to see, wear it tonight. You don't have to, but wear it tonight because there should be no costumes on Monday. Let me say that again. We should not be wearing costumes to school on Monday, unless you're in kindergarten. Kindergarten is the only students gonna be wearing costumes Monday. Everybody else, you can wear them before school, you can wear them after school, but not while you're here. So, we wanna focus on learning still while school's going on. That's our big thing. Let's talk about a few other things. Congratulations to our writers of the week. Kindergarten, Cheyenne Cato Getty. First grade, Ariana Mears. Second, Bristol Lee. Third, Anna Shira. Fourth, Karsten Hodge. Fifth, Sayla Berry. We also have Exact Path, Ed Mensum Challenge going on for trophies. <clears throat> We'll celebrate those on Monday who met their challenge. Uh, I know there's low, there's hundreds of kids that have met their cha weekly challenge, but let's, let's, let's look at our leaders right now. Remember, this contest runs until December. I think it's December 2nd, but this is where we're at right now, as of one o'clock today when I looked. Our third place class for the school is Miss, Miss B's class at 56 trophies. Mitz Mitzenheim has jumped all the way up into second place with 57 trophies. And Miss Self, congratulations, your class is currently leading with 61 trophies, but it's close out there. We have a bunch over 50. So a lot of classes are hanging in tough. Let's look at our current leaders for each grade level. First grade, Abigail Prince and Harper Cross are in the lead with five trophies each. Remember, this is the lead one student from each grade level with the most trophies. We'll get a special Chick-fil-A lunch with me and some other really cool people after December 2nd. Currently second grade, Emma Loray and Ante Witherspoon with eight trophies each. Third grade, Layla O'Connor and Emily Easton with six trophies each. Fourth grade, Eliza Merrill with eight trophies. And in fifth grade, Fatima Vora with 11 trophies. Those are your current leaders in each grade level. But there's lots of other people really close. And again, it's still pretty early in this contest. We also have to recognize our terrific kids for the month of October. Good work. And I want to encourage parents that if your child is missing any articles of clothing, please come check out our Lost and Found. Uh, eventually, we will have to purge this when it gets too overflowed and we're starting to really get, kids, you've got to take your jackets off the playground. Uh, otherwise, they're going to end up here and you may never see it again. So you've got to be responsible and keep your jacket on or make sure you take it with you. But parents, come check out our Lost and Found right by the front office. And Thursday, the third, next Thursday is picture retake day. This is only if you missed picture day or if you paid for pictures and you need them redone. So it's not most students, 
just those who need them redone for one reason or another. So that is it for this week. I encourage you again, Freaky Friday is going to be a lot of fun. Come on out. Come see what we've got going on. Games and contests, dunking booth, food, fun. So bring the whole family out. I hope to see you there.